Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, if you're looking for some budget-friendly Valentine DIY decor, then you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome to my channel. Today, I have got five way cool, dirt cheap, DIY Valentine's decor items for you and I am so excited about it because I am participating in a collaboration with other talented DIY YouTubers bringing you Valentine's decor inspiration. If you stick with me to the very end, I can promise you three things. The first is, is I am saving my favorite DIY for the last. Number two, I'm gonna give you something for free. And number three, I'm gonna pass you along to another amazing and talented DIY YouTuber for more Valentine's inspiration. So let's get started. My first DIY, we are going to make something awesome. I picked up this 18 inch wood round from Home Depot and I actually ordered it off of homedepot.com. If you haven't done that yet, I highly recommend it because if you're like me, I kind of get lost in Home Depot and I end up spending way too much time there. So this time I didn't want to do that. I ordered this as well as a couple of other things and somebody else did the shopping for me. And when it was ready, I just ran in there. I was in and out in under a minute it was awesome it was like six dollars and so very affordable and all we're going to do is take some of this folk art metallic pure gold and we're going to paint it on the edge i do two coats of gold paint on the edge and then i do two coats of chalk paint on the main body in ballet slipper pink now we're going to go ahead and cut a stencil on my Cricut machine that says love in the scripty font. Now for those of you who don't have a Cricut machine, hang on with me. I have a solution for you, but for those of you making a stencil, go into Cricut Design Studio and type in the word love. I'm using the font called Nocturnal. I got it off of defont.com. You need to tighten up the spacing. I ended up not liking the spacing still, so I made three copies and manually spaced it how I like, then attached them together. In the end, Love was about 10 inches tall by 15 and a half inches wide. I am cutting it on stencil vinyl, but you could use any removable vinyl. Hit make it, then cut out your stencil, add transfer tape, and apply it to your wood round. I do a quick coat of pink first, so if any bleeding happens, it's the original color. Then two coats of gold paint. After it dries, peel back the stencil and do any necessary touch-ups. Now for those of you who don't have a vinyl cutting machine, so here's how you're gonna get the job done. You're gonna print out your scripty font that you like, print it out onto a piece of paper, then you're gonna take some of this graphite paper. I'll put a link for it below. And then you're gonna put your scripty font that you've printed out on top of it, and then you're gonna trace it out, and that's gonna transfer the image onto the wood. And then you're just gonna fill in with paint, and it will get you a similar look. Now, the reason why I'm using a Cricut is it's just a little bit cleaner look, a little bit faster, and a little bit easier to do. How cute is this sign? I am so in love with it, it turned out every bit as good as I had hoped. Our wood round was about $6.50, including tax, and then I'll call it about another $2.50 for stencil and paint supplies. So we're into this about $9, and it's worth every penny. And we have something available to us on the back, so if you do this project, hang on to it because I have a plan, so stay tuned for that. The only thing that's kind of bothering me is this little knot kind of raised up when I painted it. It kind of got wet and so it increased in size, but nothing's perfect. I'm not perfect, it's not perfect, and that makes it all the more adorable. DIY number two, we are going to be making a rose ball topiary on a crystal stand, faux crystal, it's glass. <laughs> I picked up this from the Dollar Tree. It actually matches this base. Now I made this beautiful peony arrangement in an episode last year. It is a knockoff of a pottery barn. And since then I actually tucked in a few other flowers and some roses and everything. I kind of like it because it just adds even that much more dimension, but it was all peonies at first. This is gonna be kind of a permanent fixture in my studio slash craft room here. And most likely we'll be finding finding a new home behind me. We're going to be doing an extreme makeover on my craft room here in a couple of weeks. So while my next DIY we're making for Valentine's Day,
day, I am pretty sure it's gonna have a permanent fixture somewhere. And that's all I'm gonna tell you for now because you need to stay tuned to see what I'm doing. And all of these pink roses are from the Dollar Tree. And normally they have foam balls at Dollar Tree. I couldn't find any this time. So this one I actually picked up at Walmart. And all we're gonna do is glue this right to the base here. And that's gonna be our foundation. Then all we're gonna do is cut off these pink roses and poke them into the ball and it is really that simple. This is probably the easiest of all of them to put together. It was super simple. And I have about four bunches of roses in it. And then of course we've got the foam and the little glass pedestal. So we are into this maybe $7. I think this would look really great as a wedding centerpiece, but it's gonna look so cute as our Valentine decor. Look how cute it pairs up with this beautiful arrangement here. I just love this and you would never believe that almost all of the items are from the Dollar Tree. DIY number three, we are going to be making a sign that says 14 on it for February 14th. I just like the idea of that. And I have this, canvas panel that I picked up at Walmart for $4.97. It says canvas, but as we learned in my last episode, it is actually all wood. We are flipping it over once again, and we're gonna paint the inside of it white, and then we're gonna paint the outside of it black, and it's because it's gonna coordinate with another piece that we're doing later. And once we have that painted, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Cricut machine again to cut out the number 14 in this beautiful, glittery paper. You can use whatever color you want. I think I'm going to use this corally pink because it's going to coordinate with some other stuff. So this sign was really easy to put together and so cute. And the reason I ended up using just glue dots is because I feel like I can just peel this off and do something different for a different holiday really simply, especially since I just used glitter paper. Now I have about six or 650 into this. The, the frame was $4.97, then you've got a little bit in paint and supplies and my glitter paper, but really easy to do, very Valentine-y and very versatile, so I'm loving this. DIY number four, it is the red burlap wreath with nine lives. Who knew when I made this little red burlap wreath, I didn't even know I liked it first off, and I ended up really loving this little red wreath. So cute for the 4th of July. But I got a lot of suggestions that I needed to do it for Christmas, and then I got some suggestions that I needed to do one for Valentine's Day, so if you have a another suggestion, leave it in the comment section below because apparently this is one versatile little wreath and we are going to be doing it for Valentine's Day. I will link the red burlap wreath tutorial below. So if you haven't made one before, then you can go watch that video and see how I made this in the first place. You could get away with like a fat quarter. I just went and had them cut this on the cutting table at Joann's. And all we're gonna do is cut this lengthwise. So it's about six inches wide. And I'm gonna sew mine together so it's one big long sash and then I'm gonna finish the edges by sewing it as well. If you don't sew and you don't have a sewing machine, you could just use some hem tape that you just use an iron and it kind of glues it together. So that is a really good option. So let's go ahead and put on the bow. This was super easy to make. It only took a couple of minutes. If you sew, it's just a breeze to do. And I like the look of a fabric bow. I just fold it in half and then we're just gonna tie it on like just in a regular bow, nothing super hard. And I just kind of tuck it in to the folds of the fabric from the burlap wreath already. Just a little finishing touches, make sure that it's how we want it. And so again, the burlap wreath, I've used it for three holidays now. It was like five or six dollars to make this burlap wreath to begin with. And then this bow was only maybe a dollar or two. So festive, so cute, I'm loving this. Last, but certainly not least, is my favorite DIY. I've made this DIY super easy for you because I've made this in a 16 by 20 inch dimension. I went over to Staples and had it printed on a color engineer print. It is much cheaper to do it this way. Do not do it as a poster because it will cost you significantly more. And it was $2.97. So I have this frame just kind of hanging out in my house and you could go pick one up at the Goodwill, a thrift store or anything. I'm 
am removing the glass from mine just because I don't want the sheen of it on there. All you would really need to do is throw this in a frame, call it a day and be done. <laughs> so that's how easy this DIY could be. But I went ahead and freshened up my frame with some black chalk paint and then lightly distressed it. As for the print, I tried Mod Podging mine to the cardboard backing and it was a total and epic fail. I decided to just use spray adhesive instead, which worked great and it was completely smooth in the end. I love this. I love this so much. It is so cute and Valentine-y. If you have a black frame or if you have a frame that you like, just throw it in the frame and you are done. And it was $2.97 for the print. I already had the frame, so that was free to me. So this was like a $3 project for me. And again, you could switch this out by the season, so stay tuned. And now that I have this done, it's kind of a toss up between this I love you sign and the love sign, which is my favorite. I love everything that I did today, but those two signs are probably my favorite. So if you wanna make this project too and you want the free printable, I have linked it in my description box below. There's a lot of information in that description box, so make sure you don't miss out. And that's my little gift to you. Now that you've watched my episode, I put a very special link in my description box below of a another really amazing YouTuber. She's a good friend of mine. So go check out her episode if you want more Valentine's inspiration. And in the meantime, here's another episode that I think you're really going to like. So check that out as well. And we will see you again here soon on Monday. I've got another awesome Valentine's Day tutorial for you. You're not going to want to miss. Bye.